people call me pastor, I'm following the master, bishop on the track, they like that's that dude from last year. Good evening, welcome back to another children's church. Y'all let us pray, bow your heads right where you are. God, we love you and God, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity, God, to come back to you again one way as the evening. God, we pray, Lord, that you would help us to be the young people that you need us to be. Lord, help our lives to, to be a, a blessing to you, oh God. God, help us, help us to be able to share your word with our friends, um, whether, whether we are on, on the internet, oh God, or whether we are on the phone. However it is, God, help us to share your words with our friends and our cousins, God. Help us, Lord, that we could be doing everything that you need us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, let's go on and start the song. Um, say, my God is big, so strong, so mighty. into our word today. So if you're joining us, go grab you a Bible and a cup of water. We're going to need some water today, right? You have your water? We both have our water. So make sure you grab you some water, okay? But first, before we get started, we're going to go ahead and get in. We're going to go ahead and pray, and then we'll get into our lesson, okay? So everybody, let's bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank, we're so thankful for your many blessings, Almighty God. Thank you for giving us a new day, new mercies, Father God. We come to you now, Lord God, just oh, asking you to, to open up your word to us, Father. Reveal to us what you will have for us today. Give us listening ears and an open heart, Father God, to receive your word. And we'll just give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, all right. So today, we're going to be talking about, are you thirsty for God? So, you know, so oftentimes we go to get something to drink, we get lemonade, we get water, we get Sprite. There's numerous of things we could drink. But when you are thirsty for God, what are you, what are you going to? So let's stop. Let's take a drink really quick. It's so refreshing, isn't it? Like water is just so refreshing. But that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. Emery, can you go ahead and read our scripture? Our scripture today is coming from Psalms chapter 42, verses 1 through 2. 
a deer thirsts for a stream of water in the same way. I thirst for you, God. I thirst for the living God. When can I go to meet with him? A deer thirsts for stream of water in the same way I thirst for you, God. So my question is, where do you go when you're thirsty? When you're thirsty for God? You know, oftentimes we're in front of our games and our electronics and we're filling our, filling our heads and our time with things that we can hold in our hands and things that we can, can physically see and play. But when we get tired, we drop those things and we go find the next thing to do. Maybe it's riding our bike or riding our scooters or whatever it may be. And then you drop that and then you go inside and we twiddle our thumbs and we say, oh my gosh, I'm so bored. Or, there's numerous of things that we do. But sometimes we, we have all of these things at our hands. And then what we're really empty for, what we're really longing for is a relationship with God. Someone that can fill us and refresh us and allow us to feel full, like we are complete. So today I was just, today is just a, I just want to take a few minutes of your time. Just a few minutes. Today in our scripture, David is talking about, you know, where can I go when I'm thirsty? What can I do? What does it mean for me to be thirsty? Can I actually be thirsty for God? The answer is yes. He wants He wants to be more, he wants more of God. Have you ever at one point felt like I go to church and I don't understand? Or I go to church and I'm not getting anything? Well, you know what? Sometimes we have to sit down and read. We have to read and say, you know what? I understand this. As a deer thirsts for a stream of water, God, there's times when I'm thirsty for things. And in the same way, the Father God, that I thirst for those video games and I thirst for for candy, I thirst for food, pizza, hamburgers, whatever it may be, Father God, I'm a thirst after you. When we thirst after God, this scripture reminds us that we that God can refresh us and restore us. But in order for us to be refreshed and to be restored, we have to spend time with him. And yes, we spend our time doing everything else and we give God this much of time. You know what? I can't even say, I can't even see through that. I can't see through that. He we only give him a little bit of time. My question for you today, have you given God time today? Or have you spent time doing all other things and decide to give God two minutes before you get ready to go to bed? That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable because you know what? There's some empty spots in our, in our lives. So it says, just like water refreshes and restores us when we're hot and thirsty, God's, God refreshes us and restores us when we spend time with him. These verses encourage us to slurp up his goodness and his teachings each week. Just like I slurped on the water in my cup, that's the way we, or should, we should be slurping and feeding off of God's word. This week, every time you take a sip of water or juice, I want you to remember our lesson today and tell God you are thirsty for him. So we're going to practice that. Everybody go and grab your cup. Grab your cup. Grab your cup. Here we have. We have our refreshing water. I didn't say get juice. I didn't say get anything else. I said get water. Make sure it's water. Even though I know you don't like it. Get your water. So we're going to we're going to use this. And when we drink, whenever we get ready to drink, we're going to take that time and we take that slurp to say a prayer to God. Now you have to say it quietly because I don't want you to spit out your water, okay? But when you slurp, we're going to pray that the, what we're slurping is, is going to be good. And I'm going to say a prayer and that's going to try to help us. Okay. So let's pray together while we slurp our water. As you slurp, as you slowly slurp your water, talk to God in your head and tell him, God, I am thirsty for you. I want to slurp up what you have to teach me. Tell him how much, tell him how much you love, you love him and you want to know him and then slurp your water and say, amen. So I told you a lot of things. I said, first, talk to God in your head and tell him you are thirsty for him and you want to slurp up what he has for you and what he wants to teach you. Tell him how much you love him and how you want to know him more. Then slurp all your water and say amen. We're going to do that. Can you slurp all your water?
Amen. So that's it. That's it. I didn't drink all of mine. But you slept a little bit, and that's fine. So even though she didn't drink all of hers, I have like a little bit of mine left. But guess what? The most important thing is, is that you took the time to say, Lord, I want more of you. It doesn't matter if you're saying it in the morning. It doesn't matter if you're saying it at night. It doesn't, say it, it doesn't matter if you're saying it while you're drinking something, eating something. It's telling God and recognizing him, you telling him that, God, I want more of you. Just like we have to eat. We have to drink. We have to make sure that we're nourishing our bodies. We have to make sure we're nourishing our spirits with the word of God. And that's the only way it's going to be. We have to go through him, read his word, study his word, and just be thankful unto him that he was the actual, that he was the epitome of a sacrifice for us. So let us pray. By your hands, let's pray. Lord, we thank you. And for, that you are like a refreshing drink, Father God, of, of pure water, Father God, that restores and refreshes our hearts and our souls, Father God. Let us become more engaged in you, Lord God. Let us be more willing to spend that time with you, Father God, even if it's one minute, two minutes, three minutes for right now, Father God. Let us make sure that we're making every effort, being intentional to pray, to pray to you, Lord God. We thank you right now for this time that we've spent together, Lord God. We ask as we get ready to go back to school, Father God, that you will touch us and put us in a special place, God. Keep us protected from all evil, hurt, harm, and danger, Father God. Protect our health and the people that surround us. Let us make sure that we're extending that love to our neighbor as, as you want us to, Father God. And actually to protect our going in and our going out, Father God. And we just thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you for who you are, Father God. We yearn to spend more time with you. We long to spend more time with you, Father God. And we thirst for you, Lord God. And it's in your name we pray and we give you thanks. Amen. There you have it. We are done. Just remember this week as you go through that you are thirsty. You want more of God. You want to feel restored. You want to feel refreshed in every way that you possibly can. We want to encourage you to spend at least three minutes with God. Three, 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 three. Three is not hard. It's very, very easy. So take the time to spend time with God. And I, I guarantee you, it, it will. your life will never be the same. The things that seem hard, the, the, the unhappiness, whatever it may be, the bad dreams. Remember, we always say that God is always with you. We have to make sure that we're doing what we need to do to spend time with him. So thank you for joining us. We love you and we will see you next week. Same time, same place. Thank you. Bye-bye. We love you. In order for you to have the Lord as your shepherd, you need to ask Jesus to come into your heart. In order for you to have him as your shepherd, in order to have these things, these promises that God has here designed for you and I, you have to make him your shepherd. How, Mr. Kobe, how do I make him my shepherd? Invite Jesus to come into your heart. Yo, we've all sinned. We've all messed up. Won't you, won't you ask God to come into your heart to forgive you of your sins and to change you and save you? Won't you bow with me in prayer? Lord, I realize that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I've sinned and I've messed up. But Lord, I ask that you will come into my heart, change me in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. If that was your first time ever hearing that prayer, ever praying that prayer, and you saying, you know what? I don't want to go to hell. I want Jesus as my shepherd. Won't you dial 225-624-5672? Let's talk about it. Y'all, won't you make Jesus your shepherd on today? Bow with me in prayer as we get ready to close. God, we thank you that you are our shepherd. God, we thank you that. That you, you will constantly make ways, that you will constantly make provision for us. God, we thank you that you know that you have plans for our lives, God. Plans of hope and plans of a future for us, God. God, we thank you for it now. Now, God, if there's somebody who don't know you as Lord and Savior, God, I ask that you would touch their hearts, touch their minds now. In Jesus' name, amen. Ain't nobody stop my worship. Nobody stop my worship